Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. We'll be running an October special coming up very soon on my website. Um, keep in mind, these are general readings. Some messages may or may not resonate. It's channel for entertainment purposes only. Take a fits, leave the rest. All right, and so we're going to take a look into, from the time you're listening to this reading, going into October, I'm going to pull some random messages, see what comes up for you, and yeah, all that good stuff. And thanks to everyone who has bought me a coffee. I am greatly appreciative of that. Okay, so you're starting off with triangle, crowded relationship, choices, threes a crowd, decision between two people. Okay, let's take a look. What else? Okay. And you have Wallflower and, oh, you have Dark Mail again. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. A couple more messages here, Virgo. <clears throat> you have Travel. And you've got Family, Origin, Soul Family Groups, Vacation, Honeymoon, Enjoyment. You have Short Term, Career, Spiritual Growth, and Blonde Female. Okay, so let's get into this. So, credit relationship choices. What's going on here? So, it looks like there's a decision between two people. We'll be showing up for you here in October. Okay, maybe a choice between someone with light color hair and someone with dark color hair. <clears throat> let's see. Tell Virgo more. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can't. Now you've got the Three of Cups. Yes. Okay, Virgo. Three, three. Three's a crowd, or three's company, whichever, um, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. So, Virgo, maybe there's some of you, okay, yeah, look, yeah, you got a decision to make. You're going to have to make a, a choice. It could be a choice between someone from the past and somebody new showing up. It could be a choice between you're dating, um, or you meet two people, or you're connecting with two people and making this decision um, about who you would like um there also could be something going on here where you're having a conversation with two people while you are during happy hour could have something to do with business or investments as well um have something to do with a professional setting hiring firing investments all of that kind of like meeting up for coffee or drinks and having some conversations business meetings that kind of stuff so there's a little bit of it's it could be business it could be pleasure but there's definitely going to be on the table for you which which way do i go <laughs> do i invest or do i not i definitely feel like this is not something that you're going to take lightly this is a decision that you will be very careful about making even with that eight of pentacles or um, seven of pentacles this is real about careful consideration okay whether or not you should invest or it feels like whether or not you just basically should invest or not okay let me see how much it feels like how much hard work, how much work will it take to put into this situation? What am I going to have to invest? This is also a thought process of looking at how much you've already put in to something and um, waiting to see if there's going to be... It's kind of like, all right, will there be any dividends? Will, there, will this... Will I be able to reap any rewards out of this situation or that situation? It's really, it's a lot of contemplation. Okay, let me see. Now, for some of you, that it could be a reunion. <clears throat> let me see. I just want to get more clarity on this. More clarity on here for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? It could be with a water sign and an earth sign as well. Okay, there's air seeking clarity oh my goodness virgo so libra gemini aquarius cutting the crap i'm hearing cutting the crap like total honesty okay give me the truth tell me the truth i want the truth 
seeking the truth, seeking complete clarity, um, being strategic with the thoughts. Uh, very strategic about um, planning and what you're going to do or what you wish to do. Again, another strategic move, putting your game plan together. You know, um, whether or not you want to also leave a relationship and go forward with somebody new or with someone else, um, you're being asked to consider an opportunity or um, and or a situation okay Virgo so it looks like for you you're gonna have to kind of step back into your proverbial corner of your ring um, and re-strategize step back and think about this think about it hard <clears throat> about what you want to do okay you're definitely going to be given some information that will be coming to you that you're going to be asked to like respond to from one or two people okay do you want to be with me or are you going to go with that person i'm hearing that do you want to be with me or are you going are you going to go with that person do you want to invest with us or are you going to invest with them uh, do you want to stay at this employed here with us or are you going to um go with a new company um are you going to accept this offer this promotion do you, will you accept this offer are you going to decline it you know there, there's a lot of there's a lot going into this Virgo a lot a lot of the, it's a huge it's a huge offer being made and it's a huge consideration now you also have wallflower okay limited potential shy and withholding so what is this here this is kind of an energy of um, Well, it feels like you're kind of pulled back a little bit here. You're sitting, you're kind of by yourself. Let me see. Show me why. Why is Virgo showing up here by themselves, withholding, not saying anything? I don't really feel so much as it's shy. Could be. I just saw the Seven of Cups. There might be an element here of living in or having some kind of fantasy Ooh, okay queen of wands i feel like um virgo i feel like there's someone in your life this this queen of wands who's very generous and is uh, they're giving me the these two words she sits in a position of like upper echelon i don't upper echelon which means she's someone that maybe has a lot of money or she's she's in a position of um i don't know so much authority perhaps <clears throat> um i also want to say she's upper class that's what they're saying she sits in a position of upper class so that's based on monetary value e economic upper class leo um Sagittarius Aries okay it could be male or female this person sits in a position of upper class she gives out loans she can afford to lend money she can afford to maybe help people who are in um, much lesser positions than she is okay she kind of has this um, royalty about her she's probably a Leo he or she but she kind of has this these airs she she puts on airs so she has this royalty this might be something that you are kind of wishing that you or or, or might be a position you're trying to attain i, I don't want to say wishing uh, maybe a little bit because i did see the seven of cups there it's it's almost like a maybe a position that you're trying to get yourself to or thinking about how you can <clears throat> raise your vibration so, um, in society in a way um, it could have to do with money as well um, so rather than so I'm giving you an example um, rather than driving an economy car you want to be able to drive I, I don't know what's a higher end car like a, a BMW you know it's just an example right so it's kind of like that it has to do with money it has to do with wealth 
okay and um, I feel like you might feel like your potential is limited as far as being someone who um, has that Queen of Wands energy Queen of Wands let me explain she is someone who is very feisty extremely self-confident self-assured I mean when she when the when the fire sign goes out and gets theirs they're usually in the millions and billions like as far as money goes they're popular they make a lot of money they're very aggressive assertive they can work in sales they're they're, they're people who are they can they can work a room really well um someone they're like a bold leader very powerful charming and courageous and Virgos can sometimes tend to be like that poll that I, I did a bit more introverted okay so I feel like in October you may be thinking of ways to kind of change and be a bit more assertive in the things that you want and, and finding or figuring out ways of how you can be a bit more assertive and going after what you want rather than being more a bit more passive and just kind of letting things happen for you do you know what i mean um and even if it's that energy of being able to take your wealth and give it to others or help other people you still have to attain that so you know whatever you're going to do with it completely up to you but being able to attain it is really the issue um so i feel like you might be more inclined to just kind of be a bit more passive when it comes to your social life um, not that you are awkward or strange or anything like that Virgo but you might have a bit of an introverted type of a personality which you like your alone time and you probably are very creative or you just enjoy studying or you like learning things right um, it doesn't mean that you can't make money but your opposite you have an opposite here this opposite what's this word they're giving me your alter ego is poking at you challenging you to go in the opposite direction of how you usually are so instead of you know <laughs> it's coming out of your comfort zone so I, I feel like you're you're gonna get poked a lot in october to try to become more of the life of the party and and I, I'm not advising you to do that, Virgo. I'm just telling you that I, uh, you know, you do whatever feels comfortable for you. But I always, I do feel like whatever you fear the most is the very thing you need to get, the very thing you need to face. You know, whatever you fear the most is the thing that you need to be doing, um, or else we stay in our comfort zones, right? And it doesn't mean that it's easy, but it's if you fear it, then you should be tackling it, right? So I do feel like you're going to get poked quite a bit. <laughs> eight of wands here a lot by universe or just the energies coming out in the month of october they want you to get up off of the chair get out on the dance floor do whatever it is that you need to do to try to get out there a bit more and take the lead in your life so you're gonna you'll definitely be feeling that energy coming forward now you had dark male last week so you've got it again here so this is someone dark male can represent someone who is of a particular heritage they could also just be someone who's has who's darker in some areas than lighter darker skin they could have darker hair darker eyes dark eyes let's see what's going on with this darker dark male could also be a dark female and it could also be somebody else or it could be you okay so the ace of pentacles and you have eight of swords interesting okay they just said this person well either this person they just said meal ticket Ooh. <laughs> um so i don't know exactly what that means so we're not going to dive into that but i do feel like an opportunity is coming for you it feels like an employment opportunity or uh, it feels like either yeah a new job new employment opportunity or a raise or a promotion a new investment or a new income opportunity that is going to get you out of 
imprisonment, mental imprisonment or a sense of mental isolation. Let me see. And it's attached to a dark skinned or dark hair or dark eyes person. They could have dark hair and dark eyes and light skin, or they could have um, dark skin, dark hair and light eyes, light skin, light eyes and dark hair. Let's see. Okay. So I do feel like the opportunity is coming in and there is a person here who will be the catalyst to, to um, bring this opportunity to you. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to free you up from your burdens for sure. And it feels like it's monetary. So either through a work situation or a gift, it's a golden opportunity that comes in. I'm not picking up love. Okay, I'm not picking up a love thing here. It's pentacle, wand, and sword. Wherever you may feel mentally trapped or you feel restricted or you feel like whatever's external to you, you can't move and your mind cannot complete the puzzle, your mind cannot see your way out of a situation that you're currently in, <clears throat> whether you're that dark person <clears throat> or it's somebody else. You're, you've, you're fighting your way out of the situation physically. It's exhausting and it's draining you. And there's a gift, some type of gift coming in that is going to help you financially, money-wise, to get out of this situation. Okay, And a person, I feel, will come with this opportunity. It's being given to them to hand it to you. Okay, So in other words, if that person wasn't there... There would be no way for it to, to it's not just going to drop out of the sky it's going to come through to you by way of another person so october um i would say expect some type of job offer raise promotion investment opportunity or a new income and this is pretty big with this ace of pentacles i mean if you think look at the size of this pentacle it fills up the entire palm so this is pretty mass, like it's pretty big, this pentacle. It's not just like, it's not a penny. This is like gold, <laughs> like maybe a gold bar. You know, um, it's, it's like benefits that come in. It's something weighted and heavy and tangible. Uh, it could be a gift, a um, little treasure chest, um, a golden opportunity, a golden egg, you know, um, which even a, even a career offer, promotion that is tied to like a lifetime type of investment um, where there's like 401k and stocks and things that are going to last. I mean, this is a really great thing, especially if you're struggling somewhere in your life with some kind of situation. Let's segue over into career because you do have career here. Business success and advancement. So let's see what's going on with that. And somebody might be carrying around a briefcase. I don't know if people still do that. <clears throat> Could be like, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody's carrying around a laptop, laptop bag. I think people are just carrying around iPads anymore, right? Okay. Hmm. King Cups. Wow. What? Okay. King of Cups and the King of Swords. Oh my gosh. The Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's some magic happening between two people who are going into partnership in regards to business. Let me just say that. Okay. You're connected to it. You're either connected to the King of Cups or the King of Wands, or the, sorry, the King of Swords. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a meeting of the minds. There is magic happening between these two people. You're connected to them. You, either you're going into business or you're introducing them. Look at this. This Ten of Pentacles. Uh, uh, this is the card of... This is the card of business <laughs> to me. Always, every time. You know, this is like retirement. This is inheritance. This is like leaving a legacy. Building some type of... Um, I want to say like... This is like brick and mortar could even be. You're building some kind of business that's going to last for a lifetime. There's some type of magic, some kind of creation. You might be going... So let me just say that this King of Swords 
can also represent Virgo at times because of the Mercury ruling of this. So you could be going into business with a King of Cups. Could be, um, you can masculine or feminine energy as well, or both or opposite, whichever. Um, there could even be <clears throat> a business arrangement that turns into a romantic partnership as well. It's But it's fused with all this magic. That's what the magician is all about, okay? Uh, it's a creative creative focus creativity turning some vision into reality which is that ten of that ten of pentacles here this is like tangible results this is you know leaving that legacy where you got the two people and you got the dogs and the grandfather and you know inheritance this is like passing things down i love this this ten of pentacles it's beautiful and so yeah it just feels like uh in, like feeling very inspired i i feel like you're going into business with somebody for sure it could be a could be with a friend it could be with a love partner as well there's a meeting of the minds that's happening here it could be some type of a healing or apothecary i just heard or some kind of maybe metaphysics or some kind of healing business as well or something to do medical could be some type of medical business med med medicinal marijuana maybe i know that's I don't know, that just came to mind. There's something here. For some of you, could be with a Leo as well. Um, maybe two people are going to start up a bar, uh, buy a bar together. There, um, But I feel like this is, um, there's a meaning of the minds happening here. You know, the Two of Cups isn't always just about romantic love, but it's also about partnership, um, proposal, meeting at the table, agreeing, signing on the dotted line as well this is uh, marrying the ideas together to build this to create something here to turn it into a long-lasting partnership and it can be about marriage okay so it feels like a little bit of both and for some of you it does feel like a business partnership that can turn into a long-term love relationship as well so that's that's kind of like a two in one two for one deal right there because you, you do have like a a bit of a love situation happening but you also have a business partnership occurring at the same time so some of you if you're in a relationship with someone you could be going into business with them and that kind of like is the glue that keeps the relationship uh that makes it more of a long-term situation it looks pretty good um the focus of the relationship is not the relationship the focus of the relationship is the business which gives you both something to work towards which kind of i don't know i think that's kind of cool i mean I think Virgos like to have something they can work on. So that looks pretty good. Um, so you also have travel. So let's take a quick look at travel here. Let's see. Vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Okay. So you've got strength. Let's see. I'm going to try not to shuffle too long because these videos are kind of long on Mondays. So you've got travel, strength, justice, Leo, Libra. All right, definitely two travel cards here. All right, what's going on? What is going on? Oh, okay. Well, I just heard um, some of you might have to leave a pet at home or put your pet in some kind of pet hotel while you travel. Um, trying to figure out where you could put your pet. You might not be legally, or you might be searching to see if you can legally take a pet somewhere if you travel somewhere. Okay, I just heard that. Um, Okay, um, you're definitely receiving a message. Somebody's coming in to town in the month of October. Uh, okay, and they just said that um, this person's coming in. They're flying in, and they're flying into your town, okay? You're not flying to them. They're flying to you. Now, and it's, it's a pleasure trip. It's not for business. Uh, this person has like a little thing. They're smitten with you. Okay. So you, you'll get a message in October. Somebody's coming in to see you. They're smitten. There's a little crush. You might start talking to somebody. If you're not already talking to somebody, you might have a conversation with someone. could be a Leo. It could be a Libra. Okay. Uh, making plans, travel plans. That's what the two of wands is. Um, when the time is right, I just heard... And this strength card, you know, uh, I, 
so I just I just got um, uh, somebody somebody was ill I heard somebody was uh, I think somebody had um, oh I can't say it. can I say the word now I mean I feel like we're kind of way past this uh, the vid let me just say that right because I remember a time here on YouTube when I couldn't say what that virus the actual name for it <laughs> the, the 19 but somebody had the 19 let me just say that and they've recovered and they've gained their strength back so if you if you had any kind of communication with this person before they weren't able to see you before because there was an illness but now they're now they can and now they're coming in i just heard okay so i don't know if that'll resonate for you but that's for somebody um it was all about um it was a timing thing um and it's true is what they're saying that's the truth tell virgo that that wasn't a bs excuse that was the truth the truth coming out that was the truth of what what was going on with that person they were ill um gaining their strength back <laughs> for sure um hold on now and also they just said um they were also a little nervous too about seeing you okay that too but the the, the big truth was that they were ill okay I, I don't know why you wouldn't have believed that, but no, that, that was a real, that was a real deal. I, I said, so just get one more card here. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> ill health. Yeah, this person was ill. They were very ill. Now, if it wasn't the, 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 the 19, they might have had something else. I, I feel like maybe it was. Um, but they might have had some some other kind of illness. They've definitely recovered and gained their strength back, and um, will they'll be coming? Okay, in October. So expect a visit, a visitor. Okay, and even if you um, haven't met this person, um, they may tell you that um, you know they got over an illness. They were they, it was pretty harsh. Or something like that but they're they're better now something along those lines okay so the overall message is somebody's coming in to see you in october someone's coming to visit you a pleasure enjoyment honeymoon kind of energy vacation i don't know who's having a vacation in october but somebody's taking one that's for sure okay so you do have short term you know and it's crazy because when i look at this card every single time before i even read the text on the bottom i always see like gas tank needle i don't know why and i know it's not it's it's basically a clock um now this card is short term quick fling endings and time let's now it does have a heartbreak on it let's see what this represents okay you've got the star and okay the star Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay, you're done with the past thing. You cut it off. You've healed. Yeah, you, something... Um, there was something from your past that you've you've moved away from. Um, it, was a, it was a short-term thing in a, in a timeless, uh, fluid type of energy. Um, it wasn't meant to last. There was something could have been with an Aquarius okay a thing with an Aquarius there's a lot of air energy here um yeah I'm gonna have to say it's an Aquarius there's a thing with an Aquarius was a short-term thing it wasn't meant to last I'm not picking up any other sign no other sign if you have another sign that's this is not your message this is specifically about an Aquarius an Aquarius thing was it was meant to be a lesson learned for sure it was meant that the whole purpose of the relationship was to you for you to give you clarity <clears throat> for you to kind of get yourself in that position where you know not uh, to be fearless in making changes that you know you need to make in your life right because i feel like something uh, this this aquarius was 
tough to deal with. Um, but at the same time, um, they, they gave a lot of eye-opening energy towards you. Uh, maybe in what you don't want. You know what I mean? <laughs> there was a lot of light bulb moments. And maybe some fireworks. And it might have been very passionate at times. Um, and very very physical very intimate physically intimate but it wasn't meant it wasn't meant to go the distance it wasn't meant to go long term okay and i feel like the message with this relationship was well part of it too was it, if this person was like a celebrity or just like someone who was completely out of this world which we definitely define an Aquarius because they're tremendously unique types of individuals. They're they're not generally of this world. <laughs> and that doesn't make them all so great either. Um, they're almost alien-like. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very interesting individuals um, and quite unique. And I mean, these are people who basically, like their left shoe and the right shoe never fit equally. They're, they're very, um, a bit off and very interesting and they're not for the faint of heart I, and I, I don't often feel like Virgo and Aquarius are a bad match but I, I do feel like there are a lot of lessons to be learned um, from those relationships it's rare that you see them last long term there would have to be some some other aspects in each individual chart for those to last I feel like It looks like you're kind of on your way out and coming to terms with this in, in a lot of ways. So if you have, and this doesn't have to be romantic, this could be a friendship. And th there might be just this element, like, I don't know, Virgo, I don't feel like you're really broke, busted, and disgusted by this. And if you are, I'm truly sorry. And I hope that you can find the lesson here and, and not stay in a place of resentment or hatred or anything like that. I hope you can like find the silver lining because there sure are a lot of silver linings here. You know, so I hope you're able to see them. There is a victory. There is a crown for you to wear. I just hope that you're able to find that and you can see that this this relationship was not meant to last forever and ever, but there was a purpose to it. I feel like that's all they want you to know. All right, family showing up in October as well. <clears throat> excuse me sorry reconciliation with family so much love <clears throat> wishes coming true okay some of you reconciling with your children your soul family soul groups beautiful look at these cards all surrounding family family orientations connecting with family um, revelations wishes coming true celebrations parties weddings um, holidays as well someone's connecting with family in England or in the UK I should say um, anywhere the Commonwealth even anywhere in the in the world um, even in the Middle East as well uh, also I'm, I'm picking up like Greek Greece so there's there's um, there's a huge uh, there's a huge energy of all is forgiven in the family environment, the family unit, unit, unit. Yes. And in the, the even the, like the soul family. And this, this actually is feeling to me, not just in your personal family, but it feels like it's more on a global scale right now. <laughs> like the global scale. This kind of feels like... Um, they're giving me these Adam and Eve vibes. Strong, like man and woman kind of thing coming out here. And I don't know what that means, but they're just giving me this man and woman kind of thing and, and family. So I'm not getting into all that because I know that there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. And I don't stand anywhere with any of that here on my channel. But I just, I'm just trying to give some kind of message that I'm feeling right now. And with judgment, there's revelation that I feel like is happening as well on a global, like a grand global scale. Okay. Um, there's, there's a wake up call, there's clarity and there's a huge decision 
being made. Now, there's also something here that's telling me, so we have Gemini and Scorpio energy. There's also something here telling me that someone also, and that could be you and or another person, that someone is coming to have clarity that they want to be married and, and start a family. Okay, now that doesn't have to be you if you're past that stage in your life. That could be people younger than you or someone who's younger than you could be connected to you you know you or it's someone that you it could be a relationship that you were in in the past or that you are in if you're a lot younger and you're having children you know this just uh, or, or even just someone wants to have that long deep committed relationship and involve the family and get family involved you know love partnership family those are the those are the roots of life, you know. Those are all the mo those are the important things that matter, right? Having that fam, having the soul family, the family involved, and the and the children, and the and the and the love, and the happiness, and joy, and 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 this looks like for someone, this is a wish come true. This is a dream that somebody wishes to have in their life. Okay, and I feel like that wish is getting granted, especially in October, or at least going through until November for sure. October and November. So, you know, it could be a child saying this to you. They want to get married one day and have kids and have a family. You might be hearing that from, you know, a, a child. And that might make you happy. You could hear it from like a sister or a brother. You could hear it from um, someone who you never thought you would hear that from. You could even be telling that to yourself. I may have come to realize you've changed your mind about something. I have to tell you with judgment and major arcana and the lovers, these are these are major cards, so this feels like a major wake up call. Okay? Huge life's purpose. And so whether that's you or another purpose or another person, this is someone kind of saying to themselves, I know what I need to do, I know what I want now, and this is what I really want. This is what I really want. I, I maybe didn't even realize that this is what I want. Why? Because this is what brings me abundance. This is what brings me good health, mental health, emotional good health, physical good health, you know, having surrounded by family and all that. So that's such a gorgeous message. So yeah, family is going to take precedence October in through November, even going in through the rest of the year. So that's awesome. Keep your eye out for that. You might even be getting... I mean, it's all positive news and you're attached to it. You are definitely attached to it. So either somebody is telling you this. Um, coming to you personally and saying to you, yes, I want to be a long-term... I want you by my side for the rest of my life and I want our family together. That kind of thing. Let's see, you've got spiritual growth, knight of swords. So, learning and expanding the soul. There you go, Virgo. Oh, why is the hangman in reverse? What is going on? All my cards are in the upright. So, the knight of swords is that lifestyle change. <laughs> you know what, Virgo? Let me just tell you. You're being selfish with your spirituality right now. And that's good. That's all I need to say. You're being selfish with your expansion of yourself and your soul. And you're learning. Absolutely. You are... Your growth, you're doing this all for you. I, I don't feel like you give a rat's ass. You don't give an F. You don't give a sh what anybody thinks, says, or does about your spiritual growth, your spiritual path where you're getting your Jesus juice from or whatever you want to call it your your spirit your spirit you drink it from the spirit's bottle it doesn't matter you're doing what you need to do for yourself and and with the hangman in reverse you're being selfish about it and you're making a lifestyle change you know you're on your own you're on your own listen virgo it looks like in october <laughs> You're marching to the beat of your own drum. And look at you. You're looking at your drum here and you're like, all I need is my drumstick. I'm pounding on that thing and doing my own thing. And that's what I feel like you're doing. And you're going after it. So I, like I said, the last time you got this card, I felt like you were really doing your, 
you, you're really on a good path spiritually. Maybe you're doing some kind of alternative spiritual healing. Um, so you may not be doing any kind of religious spiritual healing. You might be doing like, um, I don't want to say alternative. That's To say alternative, that means that it's outside of the norm. But is there really a norm, right? You could argue with that with plenty of religious scholars. But not not necessarily alternative. But maybe you're doing yoga. Or maybe you're practicing um, something that would be different to what you've always known. Um you're you're not just picking one thing it looks like you are exploring and expanding and you're you're just trying to learn how to expand your soul and, and expand your spiritual growth you're you're not really and that's the thing about virgos virgos a mutable sign and virgos are very adaptable and love change Okay, so that's what makes Virgos very creative. Of course, they're the most consistent and the most routine mutable sign out of Pisces, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Um, because Pisces, Sag, Gemini, and Virgo are all mutable, so they're all changeable. Um, but Virgo is the most consistent and also the most routine. However, and so that's why Virgo gets so stressed. If you didn't know that, Pisces are generally not stressed. Sages are generally don't get stressed. Geminis generally don't get stressed, but Virgo does because it's Virgo's nature to keep things in order. But with that mutable energy, mutable means change. Virgo's like, can't change, can't change. Everything must stay same. And that's why, that's where Virgo's anxiety and stress comes from. <laughs> in case you didn't know that because the mutable sign of virgo wants virgo to adapt and go with the flow but virgo's like nope not doing it <laughs> nope staying right here in my comfort zone not changing nope can't make me so that's why virgo has to make themselves virgo has to learn to go with the flow pisces is always good for virgo because pisces teaches virgo that virgo hates pisces for that because Pisces is like, what's the problem? What's the problem? Relax. <laughs> and Sag is just like, come on, just go dance. Just go have fun. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. You know, and Gemini is like, you're thinking too much. You're thinking too much. So basically, um, you're just like, F all y'all. I'm going on my own spiritual path. I'll find my own spiritual growth. I'm going to do what I'm going to do and make it work for me. And if that means I have to sit in the middle of a cornfield and channel aliens to get my spiritual growth on and yoga pose while I'm at it, that's what I'm going to do. So you're doing your own thing, Virgo, and that's fine. Work, you do you, but what works for you, what works for you. You're, on, you're okay. Okay, you got blonde female. All right, this is going to be it, you guys, because I said I would try to give you at least an, close to an hour at least. Okay, blonde female. What the hell? Now, look, her, she looks like a redhead to me. I don't know why th this lady, Amira's Love Oracle, okay. Like, I don't know why she's got her as a blonde female. She's, is, am I wrong? Is it me? Her hair looks red. Lighter hair, laid back, okay, whatever. So, we're going to go from strawberry blonde to, we'll say maybe white. <clears throat> the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, holy chisel new love coming in for a blonde female or with a blonde female taurus energy oh shoot somebody idolizes you virgo they put you on a pedestal pedestal i'm on a pedestal yes i am singing oh did you know Livy newton john's birthday was september 26th I had no idea. 25th or 26th? I had no idea that she was right there on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. No wonder I love her. Loved her. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. I feel like you're going to get some communication from somebody. Absolutely. Somebody, yeah. They're going to tell you. Um, let's tie the knot. Like, I'm serious. Here's a ring. Or, here's a... Can I buy a pizza? Here's your birthday gift. Happy belated birthday. Uh, Virgo, listen. <clears throat> this is either uh, this blonde female. She confesses to you um, what she's been thinking about you. Okay. 
or that she confesses that she's interested in you and would like a long-term committed possibly ended marriage type of like very formal traditional relationship marriage kind of thing okay um, that's what she's looking for so if you don't have anybody in your life October you're going to be meeting somebody new if you do have someone in your life this is what she's going to be expressing to you um, or someone is going to be expressing this to you okay now do you have light hair you might not but are you a laid back Virgo probably not because there ain't such a thing <laughs> but some of you might be some of you might be one of those Virgos who are a bit more laid back than others okay and I know there's some Virgos that are pretty laid back I mean they might smoke a little the ganja or they just like to have a few drinks They're a little bit more laid back I do have a Virgo friend um, from many years ago and she was the most laid back Virgo I've ever met seriously she did not stress I mean in fact she barely even spoke and when you would look at her she would just smile with a smirk and she'd go hmm <laughs> she kind of looked down on you like <laughs> why are you even talking like shut up like shut up <laughs> she would just she just didn't she kind of be like I don't know she want nothing to do with me <laughs> that's kind of how I felt I was like you're such a bitch <laughs> she was that Virgo she didn't have to say anything she just kind of gave you the side eye like why are you talking but you know there's some Virgos who are just completely like they don't give an F so maybe that's you maybe you're that that Virgo who's listening but anyway um yeah you're, there's definitely going to be some communication somebody might say i've been thinking about i have some ideas i want to take you out to eat i want to go buy you a pair of sneakers or i don't know what do you call them in other countries runners shoes um there's definitely oh hold on a minute i'm getting another message here This is going to come out of the blue. In fact, you're not going to expect this. Um, I feel like this person is, is, they might bring it up to you and then they talk about it or message you or call or text you and tell you about it. And then they'll say like, okay, let's go this weekend. And then <laughs> they show up three days ahead of, and just like, you ready? Yeah, that's kind of just a quick little they gave me an image of someone just like showing up at somebody's door saying wait I thought we were gonna go this weekend no we're going now so there's definitely uh, some type of communication and I feel like even though this person comes across to me as a bit patient there, there is there is an energy of not being all that patient um, they're gonna also tell you that they got some money um, or they, they got they just got a new job or they got money saved and they went and bought you that like I bought you something um, I've saved up a lot of money and I bought you something I mean it's kind of like maybe maybe like a kid it's kind of like a kid I don't know they were putting money away somebody's been saving money it could be like a ring or something they've been saving money to get you something very expensive this person might be very muscular as well look at the arms look at the guns jesus but then look at the legs what's going on there and they're in a dress okay you know what it's that day and age so do it do what you gotta do boo but uh yeah they've been saving up a lot of money uh there's some kind of gift all right i'm gonna leave that there oh and there's the page of cups and then also the king of pentacles so it could also be a capricorn or a virgo and also it could be a pisces or a cancer uh scorpio so there is definitely going to be for some of you an apology for some of you uh it's a birthday thing um a belated birthday because your birthday's over and for others there is there's a very mild sweet text or call you're going to be getting about going out somewhere very formal um going to a very formal place 
either for drinks or dinner. It's, it's something, um, but formal, but uh, expensive. I'm hearing, ex- like, I feel like a lot of money, a lot of money being spent or asking to be taken out somewhere. Very expensive. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I feel like that was a whole bunch of messages. I don't even know what to call this because there's, it was just a smorgasbord of messages. So like I said, take what fits, leave the rest. Remember, it's predictive, so it, it may not resonate for you right now. Remember, it's going in through the month of October. So what I would do if I were you, if you're not sure, save it in your playlist. And then when October comes, or you can, you can just hold on to it or maybe make a couple of notes, jot a couple of notes down to see if this occurs for you. And yeah, or you could just say, okay, that was great. Ready for the next one tomorrow and come back tomorrow. And also make sure you hit the like button when you're done listening to the reading so that it helps the algorithm to get the video up and out through everybody. And I appreciate that. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, you guys do click the link tree button. It's under my profile picture here on YouTube. Also in the description box where you can book a reading. You can go over to my Twitter. You can go over to my Facebook. You can donate to a cup of coffee. You can donate to the child funds. You can join my OnlyFans for the spicier readings. And I do the tarot readings over there with the cards that I cannot use here on YouTube or else I will get probably banned. We've tried to use them before. And this is pretty much one of the decks and they don't let me use them here. So I am not in the videos, anything like that. It's just tarot readings. All right, you guys. And they're lots of fun. $4.99 a month to join. You can cancel at any time. All right, you guys. So have a great night and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye.